In today's YouTube video, I ordered a $1,000 makeup mystery box. We're gonna open it up, see what's inside, and try to do a full face of makeup. Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are all having an amazing week so far. I am very excited for today's YouTube video. Last year, I opened up a $500 makeup mystery box and had so much fun filming that video and you guys really liked it as well. That was my first time ever buying a mystery box online and I don't know if I would say that it was worth it. This is giving grandma. But the experience was fun and it made for a good video that you guys have been asking us to do a second one of. So I've been searching online and for today's YouTube video, I ordered a $1,000 makeup mystery box. That's a lot of money. We're going to find out together what this box actually has inside. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, you guys, let's get right into this makeup mystery box. I have it sitting in front of me right here. You guys, look at how giant this thing is. Look at this box. This is huge. This is a big mama. So at least for $1,000, we have actual substance in here, okay? Before we get to opening this up, though, let me read you guys the listing that we found on eBay for this $1,000 box. The title was called, This is a Viral, in all caps, $1,000 Makeup Mystery Box. I will message you and ask you for your shade. I cannot guarantee you will get a full fit... I cannot guarantee you we will get a full face of makeup. Perfect. <laughs> but I can guarantee that you will get more than $1,000 worth of products inside. Let's go ahead and open this mystery box up. This actually shipped pretty fast as well. I remember our last mystery box took like weeks to get here, huh? Ooh. Wait a second. Whoa, this is huge. <gasps> she even threw in some nice fluffies. Hi, James. I must say I'm a little surprised. Monica's about to hate cry me in the next sentence. I must say, I'm a little surprised a man is buying this mystery box. Maybe a man wants a gorgeous makeup mystery box, Monica. Maybe it is for your girlfriend. Homophobia. Hope you enjoyed this, and if you post an unboxing video, please tag me. Kisses XX Monica. I don't know if she wants to be tagged in this, girly. Let's take a look at what's actually inside though, because I'm already seeing some products that are bummers. Look at this, you guys. The first thing in here, Mason Margiela fragrance. Hello? Mason Margiela fragrance. First of all, I love Margiela. It's one of my favorite designer brands. Also, their fragrances are bomb. It's a full sample set of every single perfume they sell. Massive slay. Oh. <gasps> we have a Tatcha water cream. This is my favorite moisturizer literally of all time. These fucking jars are like $90. They're so overpriced. It's actually ridiculous. Oh, we have a Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush Foundation. It's in the shade five neutral, which I think is probably pretty close. Monica did actually reach out to us when we purchased the box and asked what shade range we were. So we said, I think we said light medium, right? Oh my God, my favorite powder. This is literally my favorite powder on planet earth. Look, I have, <laughs> this, I think, is it in, sh what shade is this one? I'm gonna marry Monica. I don't even care if she's homophobic. She can hate crime me all day long. Look at this. This is my current powder of this exact one that I'm about to run out of. And she sent me this. It's like she knew. This bitch knew. I'm a genius. <laughs> I'm a fucking genius. Like We have a brush tip brow pen. Fun. Okay, we have a DeWizen rechargeable pad LED makeup mirror. Just a simple makeup mirror that you can charge with a light inside. Magnetic phone mount. We have a candle from the company called Boy Smells and it's in the scent Cameo. Look at that, smells good too. Not seeing a lot of makeup products though. <laughs> a little concerned. We have, oh, a mini straightening iron. I use one of these every single day when it comes to doing my hair. Maybe this isn't the best considering Lord knows I need a new hairstyle for 2023. Ooh, some triangular powder puffs. Moroccan oil luminous hairspray. A stand and grip case for a phone. We have a Magic Makeup Palette Fantasy Changeable Prism Makeup. Okay, this is the eyeshadow palette that came inside. I fucking knew it. Take a guess. Take a guess at what this palette might be. Oh. <laughs> well, it's gone and so is Morphe. I guess I'll just copy it now, huh? Okay, we have what is this, a, like a makeup mat. Didn't we watch this product on Shark Tank? The, oh my God, it literally is. It's the makeup mat. This is so stupid. <laughs> it's like a mat that goes like on your sink and you can like put like your makeup 
products on it. Ah, oh, yes! We have a one size by Patrick Star Go Off Setting Spray. I love these, you guys. And I just ran out of mine, so this will be perfect for a new one. Ooh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss. Love Anastasia Beverly Hills. We have a, ooh, we have a Jaclyn Cosmetics palette. Luxe Legacy Eyeshadow Palette. Perhaps we'll use this one instead. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we have a, this looks like a butt plug. Oh, these are like those oil rollers, aren't they? I've never tried these before, actually. Oh, okay, I'm excited to use this. Okay, so Miss Monica may be homophobic and she may be hate criming me. However, she does know what she's talking about, so I'll give her that. Okay, Versed Mood Lighting Luminizing Glow Drops. Interesting. We have a Too Faced Killer Liner. Ooh, oh my God, Peter Thomas Roth. Instant Firm Effects No Filter Primer. I love Peter Thomas Roth. These, oh my God, isn't this like really expensive too? Easy Basics Sonic Face Brush. <gasps> it's just like a vibrating, what the fuck, what is this? Oh, you can increase the vibration too. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Here we go. Oh, another Too Faced Killer Liner. Oh yeah, it's a, a, okay, it's a turquoise liner. No thanks. Ooh, a Kylie Cosmetics pressed bronzing powder. Okay, nice little Kylie bronzer. Ew. <laughs> this is so ugly. Some CeraVe Renewing SA Cleanser. Okay, I love CeraVe products. They're amazing and super affordable as well. Etude Soon Jung 2X Barrier Intensive Cream. This packaging is all in, I think, Korean as well. Would love to try that out. Okay, we have a product from Kimchi Chic, which is a drag queen brand. I love Kimchi. She's on season eight of Drag Race. <laughs> it's called Diamond Sharts. Jesus. I would assume this might be a glitter eyeshadow. Yes, it would be. Gorgeous, a nice bronzy eye. We have a Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush Setting Spray. This is my favorite setting spray on the planet Earth. This one is so, so good. Okay, so this is an ice massage roller from I Do Care. This looks like an IUD. This looks like you shove it in your Oh. Well, it's definitely cold. Ooh! A Kevin Aquan Curling Mascara. I've never tried this before, but I love Kevin Aquan. It's the Reeky Skinny. Ah, me as a Reeky. A Wet n Wild Color Icon Cream Blush. This is black, but it says on the packaging, transforms into a berry color. No thanks. Just give me the color that I'm shopping for. Unpopular opinion. Maybe I'm boring. Maybe I'm the boring one, but I can't. We have a Say Beauty Concealer. We have, oh, we also have the NYX Bear With Me Concealer. I haven't tried this one either. We have a Kopari Clear Lip Gloss. I've actually never tried this brand either, but I've heard a lot of good things about this on TikTok, I feel like. An Essence Glimmer Glow Lipstick Color Chain. Enough of the color changing products, enough. I see that. I've never seen this one. It looks like it's holographic inside. Okay, and last but not least, we have what the fuck? Bloom Greens and Superfoods. Yes, health journey, new year to me. All right, you guys. And those are all of the contents of our makeup mystery box. In total, we spent $1,000 on this box. And what is the total value of all the items inside? This is $1,191.37. Not a, not as big of a bargain as I would have hoped for. Like if you're spending a thousand dollars, I would affect like two thousand dollars worth of products. But like, what's crazy? There's not a lot of actual makeup items. Like there's a lot of like fun gadgets and gizmos aplenty. Who's it's and what's it's galore. You know. Okay. Well, let's get into this makeup routine and see what we can do. You know, you can put makeup on yourself, but if you're ugly, you know. Oh. <laughs> Wait, hold on, let me finish the sentence. You can put makeup on yourself to be beautiful on the outside, but if you're ugly on the inside, makeup isn't gonna fix it. So you know how we are gonna fix that? With some Bloom Greens and Superfoods. This is not sponsored, it looks like it is. I wish that I was being paid by this company because apparently a lot of the TikTok girls are rolling in the dough. So we're just gonna mix it right into this cup of water. Oh, it's not bad at all. Okay. It's not amazing. It's, I certainly wouldn't be like, I need a glass of my bloom. Let's get right into it. Going in with my beloved. My Tasha water cream. <laughs> it's 
Sorry about that. Okay, let's go right in. Now we're gonna use our Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firm no filter primer. If Peter Thomas Roth puts tightening and blurring on their packaging, it's the one brand that I might actually believe it from. Did you guys ever see that video that went viral on TikTok of that like older woman using their under eye tightener and she literally like rubbed it on there and within like five minutes, it was an uncut, unedited video. And by the end of the video, she literally looked like this. It was truly one of the craziest product promotions I have ever seen in my life. Definitely. On me? Yeah. Oh, really? Oh my god, it actually does look fucking blurred. It fully mattifies the moisturizer, obviously, but... Whoa, that is crazy. Oh my god. <gasps> Wait, literally? For foundation, I'm gonna grab my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Air... Fuck, what the fuck? Airbrush Flawless... Whatever this is. This is in the shade number five. Okay, let's see. Oh god, this is... Isn't this neutral? This is literally bright yellow. Oh my god, because of the primer as well, it looks like... Ultra matte. It's like drying down immediately. I literally look like a Simpson or like a Lego character. Like this, oh wow, this is really bad. Okay, so for concealer today, we actually have two different options. The NYX Bear With Me Concealer and our Say Beauty Concealer. But I think I'm gonna try the Say one. If it doesn't work, we can always go with the next one. Let's see. Oh, this is also very much giving the same shade as the foundation. Let me try a little bit of this. A pump for a concealer, that's not ideal. <laughs> it's camp. Oh yeah. Better shade. I don't know how I'm feeling. My skin is not looking the best right now, but speaking of, I've been wanting to talk about this. I stopped really heavily editing my pictures a long time ago. Of course, I'll still do like a tiny little smooth, like a saturation and brightness boost here and there. But for the most part, my pictures are nowhere near as crazy as they once were. And same thing goes for my stories. I post a lot of unfiltered, unedited selfies on there. I, oh my God, people, whenever I used to over-edit my pictures, people would literally be like, you look crazy. This is obviously Photoshop. This is obviously Facetuned, which it obviously was. But now that I'm posting like raw pictures, I can't even tell you how nasty my DMs are. Every single time that I post a makeup selfie, all the responses are like, this looks so cakey, this looks really nasty. You got worse at makeup, what happened? Beauty gurus, we film in expensive studio setups that are literally designed to make us look beautiful and perfect. And I do have pretty good skin, I take very good care of it. But in person, I have pores, I have textures, I definitely get pimples and breakouts and stuff. And my skin does not always look flawless and perfect. Definitely appreciate the people who understand that and are always leaving positivity. So definitely out with the filters in 2023, but out with the nasty shit too. Okay, I do think through using the concealers, we were able to get the color looking a little bit less awful. Oh, you know what? Actually, before we use our powder, let's grab our cream blush. This is, this shit is crazy. Okay, so here it is. <sighs> Black blush. Okay, we're gonna grab it with our beauty blender. See, this is why shit like this is so stupid. There's, there's no pigment. It's not giving. Would not recommend. To set this in place, we have our Charlotte Tilbury powder. I have this one, but I am not gonna lie to you guys. I told you that I didn't have my one right here that I've been using for literally like years now. I'm almost finished with it, so I am just gonna dip into mine. We are looking so matte and so crazy right now. This is not, I, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of setting spray using my, thank God, new Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Setting Spray. Love this so much. This is gonna add some hydration back into the skin. To add some color back into the skin, we're gonna use a little bit of our Kylie bronzer. So this is the face all done. At this point, I would love to go in and add some blush, an actual real, you know, pinky blush. We're gonna zoom you guys in and we're gonna get started with the eyebrows and the eyeshadow. I'm just gonna use my brow pen from WBC Co. I'm just using what I have, and unfortunately, this brow pen is way too dark, way too pigmented, and not nearly sharp enough. This is giving Sharpie. I know, I know, I don't wanna see any comments. I'm, I'm saying it now. For eyeshadow, we're gonna use the Jaclyn Cosmetics Lux Legacy Eyeshadow Palette, because frankly, I'm tired of making jokes about the knockoff palettes. <laughs> Let's dive in and see what's inside. We're gonna do a nice bronzy eye today. Ooh, that blue is really pretty, though. And this silver, too, is really matching my look. Maybe I'll do that instead. Wait, that's really pretty. Whoa. Oh my God, I'm really, wow, this shade is really good. All right, you guys, this is one I all complete. I'm gonna go do the other one off camera and I'll be right back to finish off this look. All right, you guys, we are back and both eyes are now complete. Honestly, I am really liking how this look is coming out so far. I, well, no, I should <laughs> correct myself. The eyes, I think, look beautiful. Everything else, uh-uh. But we're gonna move on to our next step and finish this off, starting off with the Kevin Aquan, the curling mascara. Let's see if she curls. Oh, in fact, this must be a curling formula. This literally took out the curl that I had. Like they don't look very lifted, do they? What the, yeah, they look really flat. What the heck? 
I love Kevin Aquan. He's an icon, he's a legend, uh, but I do not think that this mascara is iconic and or legendary. <laughs> so unfortunately, I am not super impressed. I don't know if I would reach this again. It's finally time for the last step of our makeup routine, our lips. So I'm gonna take a makeup wipe first and clean these off and let's get into it. The lips are clean and now we have three lip options, all of which are not exactly ideal. <laughs> we don't have a lip liner and we don't have a regular lipstick, but we do have the Kopari Clear Lip Gloss. We have this Essence Glow Glimmer Lipstick Color Changing formula with no lip liner and then a gloss to go on top. I want the sparkle and I know a lot. I've gotten a lot of requests to do videos about Essence products. Okay, so here is what it looks like. Do you want to, it's actually so pretty. Do you want to zoom this in? It's like iridescent like little flakes inside the lipstick. Okay, so this is to be color changing. It's not giving. I like, this is that I have literally no color. Like I, I look so flat. I would love a high, like even a highlighter. I don't even use highlighter anymore. And at this point, like I would be begging for it. Anything to fix this. But let's go ahead and set it in place once again with our Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. And with that being said, that is our full face of makeup using everything from our $1,000 makeup mystery box all complete. I'll ask you guys the same questions that I asked at the end of the $500 makeup mystery box video. And that is, does this face of makeup look like $1,000 worth of glam? I don't think so. <laughs> I really, I do not think so. I really, really don't. I do think that it turned out okay in the end. I think this eye makeup is absolutely gorgeous. And we definitely did get a lot of good items in this box today. I mean, the Margiela fragrances, I literally cannot wait to use. The foundation, not so much. The one size, the Kylie contour, and some really fun accessories too. So definitely lots of good items here and there. But overall, I would definitely not pay $1,000 for all this together. I think you can get a far better face and makeup for a lot less money. On that note, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's YouTube video and opening up this makeup mystery box with me. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. Your love and support really helps out the channel quite a lot. And if you have not already, of course, click that subscribe button and the bell icon next to it so you guys never miss an upload from me. If you want to follow me and stay up to date on all my other socials, my Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter are all just James Charles. And my TikTok makeup account is Jay Charles Makeup for all sorts of makeup tips, tricks, tutorials, and more. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.